Whether it's public safety, the fentanyl crisis, or, you know, the business climate downtown, Lori will certainly have his hands full. Yeah, homelessness is another major issue he's going to have to address. As Ground Force Dan Kerman tells us, homeless advocates are offering him some advice. Shortly after it became clear that Daniel Lurie would become San Francisco's next mayor, the Coalition on Homelessness issued a statement asking Lurie to take a new approach. We know that, you know, a punitive response doesn't work. I mean, that's, that's just obvious to everybody. It's just pushing people from block to block. If they have nowhere to go, there's no way for them to disappear. So we have to do um, the work in the system to build up the capacity to get people up and off the streets. And that is going to take, um, you know, a lot of work. Sweeps of homeless encampments have increased over the last several months, not just in San Francisco, but elsewhere following a Supreme Court ruling. Jennifer Friedenbach with San Francisco's Coalition on Homelessness has different priorities for Lurie. We'd like to see on day one the, the over 700 vacant units in supportive housing be filled. And uh, we've got a lot of ideas on how to do that. And secondly, we'd like to see a halt to the illegal uh, property destru destruction that's occurring where people are losing their medications, they're losing their paperwork, um, they're really being harmed by it, and it's cruel. During the campaign, Lurie posted his plans for homelessness, which among other things call for building 1,500 shelter beds in six months in order to clear encampments and create a path to services. Also creating a total of 2,500 units of shelter, including bridge housing like tiny homes and prioritizing cost-effective and dignified shelter rather than expensive permanent housing. It remains to be seen if Lurie can turn his plans into action. But San Francisco's Coalition on Homelessness is optimistic due to Lurie's work at Tipping Point, a nonprofit charged with fighting poverty that Lurie founded back in 2005. Daniel Lurie, you know, has experience working on homeless issues, so he's not coming at this uh, you know, starting from zero, he already has a great deal of knowledge and um, has also worked on solutions. And so, you know, that's really where we all come together, regardless of where where people are coming from. Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.